my true love sent to me. Seven swans are swimming. Look who it is! Gets some yeah, in so there. I served as the recruitment chairman this past year. Okay. Um, and on to next year, I'm serving as the IM chair. Ooh. So, Vader wow. Girls. Cool. Okay. So, as Stetson's oldest fraternity, yeah. how do the alumni of your chapter interact with your activities and show their support? So, during alumni weekend, um, they're really involved in helping us plan things. And uh, they give us a rush budget as well. And we actually have an alumni chapter. So let's say we have like the active president, vice president. So we have like an alumni president and vice president. And oh. they oversee like alumni activities. So we have an alumni chapter and they have chapter meetings as well. So they're pretty like hands on with our organization. And um, just in general, like we have an alumni Facebook page. And like let's say if we're looking for an internship for a job, we'll just say, hey, like summer 2020, I'm a computer science major. like you guys have for me and then like let's say the uh, tech people like the professionals now that graduate from Delta Mu will be like hey like Robbie I got an opportunity for you I can write you a referral because like we're part of the same chapter so just like that like our alumni network is pretty strong in that sense yes so how does philanthropy and giving to one's community play a role in your brotherhood and your so, fraternity so we don't have a national based philanthropy so that gives us the opportunity to choose local Okay. So, like, for example, last year we did the same thing with Care Week, but we worked with Duval Homes, um, which is an organization in Delan. Like, if you go around downtown, you can see the banner that says Duval Homes. It's like a disabled, uh, or it's a nursing home for, like, disabled elderly. Um, so, we worked with them and we did the whole week. But this year we chose Hatterthon because we have, like, a couple brothers that are on Hatterthon, so um, we're captain team. Um, and they pushed for it, and, like, as a chapter, we agreed. And uh, we basically like did mini events as well. Like we did a casino night for Hatterthon, wow. um, and then we did the flat free for Hatterthon. But like service to us is like definitely one of our core values. Like we have this thing in our uh, nationals called the Healthy Hand Initiative, which like we choose local basically. Mm -hmm. So that's what I like a lot because like um, we get to see the direct impact of like the amount we give back. If that makes sense because like locally you can like be hands-on and that's why like we really um enjoy working with Hatterton because we were able to see like where the funds we raised actually went toward mm -hmm. um same thing with you about last year as the chair of the campus life community as you yes. mentioned so the efforts that you and your committee go through directly impact student life correct so what sort of events and initiative does your committee promote promote on campus so my committee is um it's a pretty like all-around committee so we touch base with like everything from dining services to like skateboard parking racks to like um what else like right now we're bringing um electric scooters on campus Ooh, wow. so we're working with bird right now and like Manisha, um the campus life like director or like campus vibrancy director is um helping us with that and um right now like 
you notice, like this past school year, we sent out like a bike rack survey. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I requested like, that. And, <laughs> Fun uh, fact. There you go. Um, so basically, like we're trying to make the most like change that you could see, like mm -hmm. whether it be physically or we're mostly focused on physical things, honestly, because yeah. like other committees are focused on like uh, intangible things, but like us, like bike racks, skateboard racks. Um, bird scooters and like dining services. So like one of my senators, um, he was working on like trying to bring a sushi bar or like a burrito Ooh. bar to like um, the commons. Wow. But like unfortunately, it was too complex. Like they got back and had this conversation already. Um, so it didn't really work out. But like he's gonna work on other things. And uh, one thing we're gonna do next year is more campus life like programming. So you know how like they have movie nights and like other yeah. organizations. That. So we plan to host those things like monthly theme marathons. So let's say for Christmas, but we didn't like plan it yet. So like we would have like a Christmas holiday marathon or like Halloween, like Halloween movie marathon. Wow. And like it'd be on the green, just like to utilize like campus spaces more so that students yeah. will be, you know, have more things to do. <laughs> and like, for example, one event that we're planning right away is uh, the 21 and older, it's for 21 and older students, is we are in yoga. Wow. So we're sponsored by Person and Hollow. And we're gonna get $500 worth of beer and like yoga instructors, and we're just gonna have a good time next semester. That sure. sounds like a great combo. Yeah. Beer and yoga. Yeah. I can't do yoga, but I can do well, beer. You, I mean, if you drink enough beers, you just might. Right, exactly. <laughs> I think that was the idea behind it, and I love it. Oh, you mentioned that you are part of a lot of clubs on campus. Right. So, how do you see yourself growing as an individual through these organizations? So, and like these. These different uh, leadership roles I've held, um, like whether it be like focus leader or like treasurer of like a plant-based living club, plant house, um, I learned like how to be a leader in different ways. So like for treasurer, I learned how to lead with like finances, and then for like surf club, I was a safety officer, so I learned how to like practice like safety um, measures with like the club and like plant chair. I learned how to like talk to people and like how to deal with like sponsor um, relations and stuff like that. And then for like, uh, right now, I'm president of Club Golf. So I learned how to like manage practices and plan events. And then for recruitment, I learned how to like talk to people, um, like freshmen, I mean, um, and like really like talk about like core values in a sense. So I just learned how to lead in different ways through these different positions. And honestly, I do need to calm down. <laughs> like senior year, I'm definitely gonna calm down more because I'm a junior right now. Um, so I learned how to like really balance my time because like with like different leadership roles and like many um, you would have to have like time slots for everything and, or else you'll you'll just crash and burn right and like my advice for like students who want to step up and like who pick up multiple roles is you have to have an outlet so for me my outlet is surfing right if you don't have an outlet whether it be reading meditation x y and z like it's, it's gonna be tough so um, going back to your question, yeah, I just learned how to lead in different ways and like I just yeah I love helping people honestly and like through these roles I was able to help organizations Through these roles I was able to inspire people through these roles I was able to just learn about myself more and just develop more as a leader on campus Wow, that was, that was, that was wow. a good answer Wow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right time, it's the right time Rock the night away Jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. So, we are having a trivia question for you. So, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. exactly. So, so, can you, uh, how many rooms on the cup are named after donors? I named them. A number. I named them. <laughs> it's a, it's a number. I mean, I'd say uh, eight. Yeah, you got to support. You didn't get that one. Yeah. Um, 
There's the breezeway. Sent to me 